Wednesday night at Red's Indoor Range in South Austin. Every bay is taken, all but two, by women. A rare sight a few years back. Every week, like, there'd be, like, just me, and then one week there'd be two of us. Now, Nikki Jones is not alone at the range. She founded this women's gun club back in 2005 after moving from New York to Austin. It's just easily accessible. It's right here if I need it. The difference between the amount of women then who were shooting and now is just off the charts. Sure Shots now has 300 plus members, some who walk in never having picked up a gun. We have a few guns in the house that are in a safe, but in case I needed to use them, I thought that this would be actually a comfortable setting since it is all women. Elena liked it so much, she's decided to get her concealed handgun license. Great as you're almost there, then slow down, easy press. Something Juliana Crowder knows a lot about. The reason to get a firearm should be one of empowerment and not fear. She started teaching CHL courses with her husband about eight years ago and also runs a women's shooting league called A Girl and a Gun. It's where Betty Lynn Shameless comes to shoot. One day I was out working in the yard and when I came back in, there was a man standing in my house and I was pretty much blocked in. There was no way to get to the door. Her dogs scared him off and after living in fear. I went, this, it's time to get, you know, time to get something. As women's gun clubs grow, so do the number of Texas women getting their license to carry. Back in 2010, the state issued 22,000 CHLs to women. In 2013, the state issued nearly 67,000. The fact that we're seeing them take such an interest and in putting themselves first is um, a big testimony to the work that we're doing. And gun makers are responding too, with more products targeted toward women. As you can see, most of our guns are just black and women tend to like more color in their accessories. <laughs> so STI International, a gun manufacturer in Georgetown, started making this women specific pistol a couple of years ago. It's called the Electra and comes in several colors. How popular is the, the pink? We can't keep it in stock. The gun has a smaller grip for women's hands and a yeah, spring system that helps here. absorb more of the recoil. You don't just slap the pink on there and call it good. That's correct. That's a really easy way to irritate a whole bunch of women. Because they know their stuff. Mm -hmm. Back at Sure Shots, league night is more than just target practice. We're going to help you strip your guns down to what we call field stripping. You typically want to clean your gun every time you shoot it. Safety, training, and education go hand in hand. So when ladies leave here, they are more comfortable with their weapons inside and out. And right now, about 200,000 Texas women are licensed to carry, but they've got some catching up to do with men who have nearly three times as many concealed permits. Online, we have broken these numbers down to show you just how many CHL holders live in each county. Check this out. In the Houston area, it is dark blue. They have got the most, 13% of its population. Right here in Central Texas, it's a little lighter. Travis County rises to the top with nearly 3%, followed by William with nearly 2%. And you can take a look for yourself right now. Just search for this story on the homepage of KXAN.com. Erin Cargile, KXAN News.